Uh, my name is Marko Toponen. I'm one of the founding members uh, of Boogie Software. And I'm talking about my project, my Hackfest project EOS Labs. It stems from my interests, especially photography. The motivation for the project uh, was that uh, I was taking photos, stellar photos outside in the cold and freezing there and thinking actually I could have something that would do this automatically for me. Controlling the EOS cameras is uh, pretty simple. You just need two and a half millimeter plug and two switches. And one of the switches operates the focus trigger and the other uh, switch operates the bulb trigger or the actual shutter trigger. I selected Arduino as the hardware platform because it has good documentation, it has good resources online. There's plenty of examples how you can integrate different uh, hardware solutions to Arduino. Uh, the hardware is generally quite cheap. It's just uh, tens of euros per piece uh, for the board and the components. And it's pretty reliable. So about the actual hardware, Uh, what I did during the Hackfest, uh, I had a Arduino Uno board with display shield and there's few buttons and a LCD display and I had a uh, relay card and this has more than two outputs, I need just two for the actual two switches. And for the actual Arduino, there's still some extra outputs that are available. So uh, this thing doesn't take all of the outputs. Next, I'm going to show you the actual code. So here we can see the timing values. You can select anything from one tenth of a second up to one hour. Then the counts from one to unlimited. Here is the main loop that uh, basically just reads the keys and when the select key is pressed uh, it just goes through the actual triggering of the uh, relays. A short demo. You plug the device to the remote control port of the EOS camera. Then you select with the buttons, the parameters, the delay before the first frame, the shutter time, so the exposure time when the camera is in bulb mode, and then the count of the photos and interval between the photos. Once done, you press uh, select and then it starts to take the photos. This is how it works. For the future development, I planned to make a 3D printed case, as this is uh, quite awkward to carry. I already have a smaller two-channel relay module that I ordered, and then there's still some outputs on the Arduino, so I could do things like stepper motors, driving them for example, for stellar tracking or some that kind of usage. So thank you very much for watching.